Hello everyone, thanks to join me on this talk. I will present you today the device tree overlay and um, the U-Boot extension board management. But first, uh, let's talk about me. Um, so I'm Cory Masson, uh, I'm an abandoned Linux engineer at Bootlin for one year now. I worked with embedded Linux, U-Boot, Linux kernel, and a um, few build systems like uh, Yocto, Buildroot, or Elbeuf. I am developing uh, BSP for projects and also uh, help uh, client uh, on support. I have contributed to the extension board management to U-Boot and uh, also in another project to the Ubuntu support to Elbeuf and I am living in Toulouse. What is the agenda of this talk? So first uh, I will introduce you the device tree overlay. No. First I will talk uh, a bit ab about device tree but uh, I hope all of you um, uh, know about device tree uh, because you need to know a bit about device tree before uh, before watch this talk. So uh, then I will talk about device tree overlay, the principle, the syntax, and uh, the current support in Linux or U-Boot. And U-Boot. We will take the example of Begelboard.org to use overlay uh, for uh, its cape extension board and I will talk about the extension board manager that I have implemented in U-Boot. So, as I said before, uh, you need to have a small knowledge of the device tree, but I will do introduce it uh, rapidly. So device tree is uh, the data structure that describe the hardware components and uh, the topology of uh, an embedded platform. It is for now implemented on majority of CPU architecture and uh, so if you want to have more knowledge about it or if you don't know about device tree please see the, the talk of uh, Thomas Petazzoni and you can have, uh, follow the link here to the, its talk. Uh, we will use, um, on this talk, uh, we'll use this example. So this example has uh, the two nodes, res and OCP. Uh, and a sub new sub node of OCP, which is a peripheral one. So, if you don't understand this uh, device tree description, please uh, uh, please read about device tree. Now, uh, let's talk about device tree overlay. So, what is a device tree overlay, and what is goal? So, its goal is to modify a loaded kernel device tree. Uh, speaking about modifying, so with an overlay we can add, remove, disable, adjust, add parameter to node, to existing node. Uh, so you, you can do the same uh, action as you can do with uh, the device tree. So uh, in practice, uh, in which case it is interesting. Um, so the first case and the case we will speak about later is um, to load the overlay that match the an extension board that is plugged plugged on a main board. So uh, the each extension board have is uh, overlay device tree and uh, so when you plugged on a board, you can load the the right overlay, and you don't need to write 
uh, whole one whole device tree for each the main board plus the action port board. And the second um, um, point uh, on where the device tree overlay is uh, interesting is uh, when you are using FPGA. Uh, so you can describe uh, the in the device tree overlay what. API are programmed in the FPGA region, so you can have one overlay for each one overlay for each um, API, API FPGA FPGA. Um, to the device tree overlay syntax, so there is a uh, old syntax and new syntax. Uh, I will just speak quickly about the old syntax. Uh, in the old syntax, uh, we we used um, a word like fragment, target, and overlay um, to uh, specify um, how the overlay uh, will deal with the kernel uh, device tree but um, for in the new syntax it is uh, we will use uh, the new syntax because it is more uh, it is easier on a, it is more logic because it is like write a, a device tree it has the main the same um, description and we don't need to use uh, like fragment or overlay or target, like uh, the old syntax. So in this example, um, to specify, we don't um, try to resolve the uh, node name, like OCP. We have to add the plugin uh, parameter to the to the device tree overlay syntax. So in this example, we just add the bar node uh, sub node to the OCP node with its compatible parameter on the whatever pa property or parameter you, you want. Uh, um, so the OCP is uh, we are matching the label node of OCP, but we also can uh, match the node path of OCP, like uh, this syntax. Depend what you want. To compile the device is uh, quite simple. You just uh, build it like normal device tree uh, with the device tree compiler bi binary. But we have to. You have to know that. We use uh, .dtbo naming to match the to match the device tree blob overlay. So, for example, if you want to compile the bar dash overlay point dts device tree, we just have to read, write this command. Um, just to see this, uh, the result. So I have jumped the uh, bar overlay device uh, overlay, yes, uh, with ftd dump uh, command, and the result is the same for the old syntax and the new syntax. So we can conclude that uh, the device tree compiler is. Uh, is uh, changing the new syntax and uh, to uh, use the old uh, syntax name. But we don't need to use any more of the old syntax because the device tree compiler does it for us. Um, let's talk about the device tree overlay support in the Linux kernel. So. Actually, there is only uh, the internal kernel API uh, to manage the overlay. 
there is no user space API. So this uh, internal kernel API will deal with the overlay uh, syntax. Uh, there is no user space API because uh, there are some RAM issue, issue or some security issue. So various of them have been proposed over time but never emerged. So you can find uh, you can find it uh, easily on the internet. The one of the uh, API proposed. And also some uh, DOM stream uh, constructor kernel uh, use uh, could use this uh, custom user space API, but it is not in the main line. So as I say, some subsystem are not prepared to to load the device tree uh, dynamically in the after login uh, in Linux and it could it could break uh, something that's why never uh, one of the API was never merged uh, so the device tree overlay is uh, managed in U-Boot um, because uh, the overlay is applied before anything uh, is load in the kernel device tree that anything the before the kernel load anything from the actual device tree so it's easier to handle overlay in your boot for that we use the fdt command and uh, the apply subcommand is the most interesting subcommand because it allows us to apply whatever overlay to the kernel device tree. This, S, this FDT command has been contributed uh, by Bootlin in uh, 2016. The use case of bigelboard.org and its capes uh, I think you have heard of it, but uh, Bigelboard uh, have uh, several uh, main boards like Bigelboard, Bigelboard Black or Bigelboard AI. And uh, we can plug a lot of cape on uh, this board. So it is a point where the overall edge of history are interesting. Indeed, uh, each cape has a NUPROM filled with the identification uh, data of the extension board. This NUPROM is accessible over E2C. Bagel board uh, made a U-boot patch to read uh, the NUPROM and allow the overlay that match um, the identification of the extension automatically. So uh, Bigelboard um, manage the cape automatically. You just have uh, with uh, their patch, they manage the cape automatically. Automatically, we don't. We just need to plug the board and uh, you boot detect it. But their patch are not mainline, and it was. Uh, our job to to push it mainline. So, but I will talk it uh, later. Another uh, use case for a uh, bigel board is uh, to make cape compatible with different baseboard. So, uh, a cape compatible with uh, the black or the AA baseboard. The issue, uh, not the issue, the important things to uh, to take into account is that uh, the two boards have different hardware. 
so the node naming are different. For example, the E square C1 for the black uh, is linked to the E square C bone 1 and, the e square, and for the AI uh, board it's E square C5. Um, so the overlay uh, have to be different because uh, to match E square C1 or E square C5. To avoid that, uh, Bagel board uh, choose to use. I've chosen to use uh, a device wrapper to change the name of the node, like alias. So uh, we can see that uh, in the overlay, if we use bone e square c1 or b, uh, it will match either the e square c1 of the black or the e square c5 of the AA, of the bigel bone AI. Now, let's talk about the extension board management in Newboot. So I have implemented a few times ago uh, a generic extension board manage manager to avoid uh, this platform specific keyboard script used in a bigel board uh, as I have talked uh, before. Um, this uh, series, pa series, series of patch have been uh, merged upstream in uh, master next and it will be available uh, in the 2021.07 release. This extension board management uh, implement uh, free subcommand, scan list and apply. The scan subcommand detects the available board, the plugged board. The list subcommand lists the the board that have been detected and uh, list more information about it. And the apply ship command um, apply the device tree overlay that match the extension board plugged. So it does it uh, it does the the work automatically. You have to know that the extension scan command calls for um, a board specific function to enumerate the extension board because we don't know uh, where the where and how to get the information of the the extension board it is each constructor as uh, its own solution for example the bagel board use a prom on in square C and the chip board from next thing co uh, use a prom on one wire so uh, we have to use the uh, board specific function this board this function will also s will uh, read the prom and fill the information table used by the extension command but it will be clearer with a demo. So it's showtime. Uh, I will just use the um, the board that you see in photo. So it's a pickle board AI uh, base board with three capes, relay, uh, fan, or other, but don't don't measure. So I have put my board and now I switch on the serial. So you can see that is uh, Bigelbone AI and I stop it on the U-boot prompt. Um, so first 
let's see the usage of the extinction command. You can see the three subcommands can list apply. Apply can, uh, as you can see, apply can either load all the overlay or only uh, one of the overlay. So we have three. We will have three overlay uh, that can be loaded. So we can uh, apply all or only one, two, or three. So, but let's see it. So first. Scan, subcommand. So we found the free extension board. We saw their name on their um, uh, eSquare C uh, addresses, but uh, this uh, print uh, came from the board specific uh, command. But uh, we can see more with the uh, extension list command, it will show the information table that have been filled with the uh, board specific function. So for its extension, you can see the vendor, which is bevelboard.org, the version and uh, the device tree overlay. This is what is uh, interesting to us. This is what is interesting. So uh, each, each extension have uh, the matching overlay. Then we have to apply the overlay. But to apply the overlay, we first need to uh, load the, uh, the device tree. This loads load the, the device tree in the memory. Then we have to load uh, the device tree in U-boot. Uh, we have to tell U-boot that the device tree um is here in, in in this address now it has been loaded uh, we could uh, apply the extension but to apply this ex the the extension device tree the overlay device tree we have to know where the where these uh, device tree are saved on the how we can uh, uh, read them. So for that, uh, the extension command need two variable. So uh, extension address and extension overlay command. The as you can see, the extension overlay command. Um, is the command to load uh, is the command that load the overlay with using the extension overlay name that will be filled with the extension command uh, in this case this uh, address is the same as uh, this uh, extension overlay address um, so we can see that uh, the extension overlay command will load the Overlay device tree from the MMC um, number zero part uh, two. So we can in indeed apply. Up, we can apply uh, the uh, overlay device tree. With this command, I apply only the second um, device tree, and uh, if I use apply all, it apply all the device tree. Now just have to run the boot command and all the kernel device tree plus the free overlay device tree will be sent to the kernel that will deal with it. Here is some reference from uh, that helped me on the, on the slides. And uh, if you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, uh, we will move on to that part. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.